Hey, where are you going, man? Where are you going? You going to ducky time? I want to come to ducky time. It's ducky time. It's ducky time. It's ducky time. Woohoo! Welcome to another ducky time. So friends, today we're going to talk about the signs of spring. One of the cool signs of spring for me is skunk cabbage. And we have some right here. Now skunk cabbage is one of the earliest flowers to bloom. And what makes that super cool is that it gets so warm inside of the plant that it can melt the snow around it. Uh, what is also really cool is there's not an actual flower, like a traditional flower, like a daisy or a rose. It pollinates itself or it has it attracts bugs who attracts bugs who to pollinate it by smelling real bad and being real warm. And that, that smell and that warmth is what draws all the little bugs to it and then the bugs get the pollen on them and they go to another flower and pollinate and that's how pollination of the skunk cabbage happens. And now you may be thinking to yourself, self, why does Ducky want to tell us all about this super stinky plant? Well friends, you see, at Wall Camp, it's one of the only places in Northern Illinois that our friend the skunk cabbage grows. Now as you see here, this is a young plant. This is where the pollen is and this is when it grows. When it gets bigger, as it gets bigger, it gets these big green leaves that make us feel like we're in Jurassic Park. Minus the dinosaurs. Maybe minus the dinosaurs. So another good sign of spring is flooded rivers. Now you may say, Ducky, why is that a sign of spring? It's a sign of spring because, you, I mean, besides that you can't see the snow anymore, it's a sign that all the snow is melted and the snow needs to go somewhere. Uh, so as it soaks into the ground, the ground it gets fully saturated and that's why it's so muddy in the springtime. But then it also comes into the rivers. And as the rivers get more water, they get flooded, much like this stream is right now. One of my favorite animal signs of spring is the American robin. Now the robin's range covers most of North America and most of Central America. Uh, it spends its winters in the in Central America where it's nice and warm and then it comes up north for breeding during the summer. Now one of the ways that you can tell that a robin is a robin is that you can see it by its bright red chest, its black black or dark brown head, and its brown back. And you can hear you can tell it by sound by its it sounds like it's saying cheerly cheer up cheer up cheerily. And that, my friends, is the robin. As a robin forages, it'll run a few steps and then stop, cock its head, and stare at the ground, as you see this robin doing.